little red riding hood. Little red riding hood live with her grandmother in a little, I mean her brother in a little house near the woods. One day her mother said, your grandmother is sick. These sticks will make her feel better. Will you take them to her? I will, said Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Be careful, said her mother. Don't talk to any strangers on the way. I will be careful, said Little Red Riding Hood. I will not talk to strangers. Little Red Riding Hood waved to a woodcutter. Then she met a wolf. Wow. Good morning, said the wolf. Where are you going? I'm taking these cakes to my grandmother. She is sick. Why don't you take her some flowers too, said the wolf. What a good idea, said Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> The wolf ran off to Grandma's house. Who's there? asked Grandma. It's me. It's Little Red Riding Hood. Said the wolf in a high voice. But to that said. Come in, my dear, said Grandma. The wolf went right to Grandma's bedroom. And the wolf had himself a very good meal. <laughs> the wolf waited for Little Red Ready Hood. Before long, he heard a knock on the door. Red to that test. Come in, my dear, said the wolf. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. So better, the better to see you with, my dear, said the wolf. Oh, Grandma, what big ears you have. Said Little Red Red, you want the better to hear you with, my dear, said the wolf. Oh, Grandma, what big teeth you have. Little Red Riding Hood. That Little Red Riding Hood. The better to eat you with, my dear, said the wolf. Uh-oh. You are not my grandma, Little, said Little Red Riding Hood. But it was too late. The wolf had himself another very good meal. The woodcutter saw an open door and went inside. As soon as he saw the wolf, he lifted his axe and killed the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother stepped out. From that day on, Little Red Riding Hood never ever talked to strangers again. The end. Good job, huh?